congratulations. Five nil up, and then it got a little bit tricky, but over the line in the end, a, a real high quality game. How would you assess it? Yeah, sort of five nil up, and then he had a ten darter, and then he had a good leg on my throw, and I was thinking, like, just just sort of stay focused and, and get over the line because sometimes when it's like that if he if he makes it 5-3 and then he's he's throwing for 5-4 and then it can get a bit twitchy um, but yeah I'm, pretty, I'm fairly happy with how I played um, backstage I, I was flying when I was throwing backstage I thought I'm going to play really well tonight and obviously I average 101 I think someone said and honestly it felt like 91 I didn't feel like I played that well so um, when I feel like I play well then look out the game seems to be in a really good place right now. I remember you had that little, that little dip, that little wobble earlier on in the year, but mm. you've come out of it, and now you're the old Ryan so that, that Ryan so that's a threat. Do you feel that you're a threat now for your TV titles? Yeah, 100%. Obviously, you know, I, I started the, the year really well, made three finals in a row on the, on the Pro Tour. Um, I had a little dip, I always do, because I just sort of don't put as much effort in. Um, like I just said, it's nice to actually spend a bit of time at home and, and not think about darts and not throw. And when you do that, my darts sort of go downhill a little bit, but I feel like at the moment I'm playing some good stuff. Um, I've been messing around changing my points. I've changed my points twice sort of in the last two weeks, just to try and find something that I'm comfortable with. And uh, I had some points that are a bit shorter than what I used tonight um, at the Pro Tours last week, and I hit a nine dart, and I felt like I was playing really well. And then for whatever reason, the last couple of days I've been throwing them and I, I just couldn't hit a thing. And, I, and, and tonight I was throwing them, I threw them for sort of the first 10, 15 minutes and then I made the decision to just put them in my case and sort of go back to my old points, which are a tiny bit longer. And um, yeah, they went all right. And so tinkering with equipment, is that...? Yeah, it's just, I felt like I was using slightly longer points and I felt like my darts were falling out the board quite a lot. I think I only had one tonight, which is all right. Um, I just find it a bit strange because I don't throw the lightest. Um, obviously, I throw heavy darts and I don't throw them in the board. Like I don't loop them in. Like, you know, they get sort of going fairly hard. Um, so I was just finding it a bit annoying that I had a lot of darts on the floor. So I was trying to find something to uh, to remedy that. Um, but yeah, like I say, I just sort of as soon as I threw those points tonight, I felt you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna play well. You know, practicing and missing. I missed a double for a nine darter a couple of times and you know I was hitting back to back 180s loads and you know finishing well so I knew I was going to play half decent um, I just need to be able to feel that comfort that I do when I'm practicing and, uh, and at the floor events that I do when I'm, on, when I'm on stage and if I can do that I feel like I've cracked it. What are the long term ambitions for yourself? Do you remember you, that, that you spoke and like, you said if I ever get to a Premier League standard I'm not sure I'd take it because mm. of the, all, all the time away and then you say I don't take it so seriously and stuff like that. What is the long-term ambition for you in the sport? Um, it, it kind of changes sort of as the months go on. I feel like at the start of the season, after the Worlds, especially if I've not feel like I've not performed at the Worlds, that you know I put a lot of, a lot of effort in, and you know I started the year really well, and then I sort of have tail off. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't really have that drive to. To be in the Premier League and and pick up major titles and stuff like that, I just I don't really like the limelight to be honest. I just sort of like go along in the background and just sort of nicking a penny here and there. And you know, luckily enough in the PDC, you, you don't have to be you know winning major titles and everything like that to earn yourself a, a decent living. And I'm sort of going along by that. Um, obviously, it'd be nice to to win a major at some point. Um, my friend just, just texted me then and he said, oh, you're, you're back in, I think you're back to number 16 in the world. And I was thinking, oh, that's good because I play Luke Humphreys in the last six of every event. <laughs> so, you know, it's, you know, being in the top 16 is great. Um, but if you're number 16 you're playing Luke Humphreys and, you know, he's a, he's a different animal when it comes to majors, um, it's probably a disadvantage, to be, to be fair. Um, so, you know, I wouldn't mind dropping away from 16, or really. Or go higher? Well, higher, obviously, yeah. Um, you know, I, I was I was 12 or 13 at my highest. I feel like, you know, when I play play my game, I'm, I feel like I'm a top 10 player. Um, you know, and I really believe that. Um, but yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. I'll just take every day it is. And, I, and you know, I don't, I don't really take it too serious, to be honest. Right, thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Ryan, you've sort of touched on it there, but 
there's, there's, where you are in the rankings, there's really not a lot between. I think you came into the tournament world number 19. Mm -hmm. There was like 15 grand between you and world number 14. So yeah. is, that, is that something that you've looked at? Or like you said, is it just other people letting you know where you are? Yeah, I think, I don't really look at it to be honest. You know, other people sort of let me know. Um, my partner Sophia, her mum likes to look at all the rankings and she knows exactly where I am. Um, but like, like I just said, you know, I think being number 16 it isn't a great thing. I think you either need to be higher or a bit lower. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just see how it goes. And how would you assess your year so far? Like I said, three finals to start off. You were very, very close to winning your first European Tour title, but probably a little bit unlucky on the TV stages. Yeah, um, obviously, you know, I started the year really well. Um, and I think to this point, this has been my best ever year on, in the PDC. Um, and I'm just, you know, looking to build on that. You know, I'm not, I'm not defending anything from two years ago as far as majors, majors go really. And um, you know, I've got, I've got some ground to make up. I think, obviously, at the Grand Prix this year, if you look at the deciding leg out against Aspinall, you know, what a fantastic deciding leg. And you know, I leave tops after 12 double start with the throw, and I don't get a shot. You know, it's not very often that happens, and I feel I was a bit unlucky there. Um, and obviously at the match play, I played, uh, I played Rob Cross and lost and he averaged 107 and he probably would have beat anyone else that night. It's just one of those things where I just feel like I don't have much luck at times. Um, you know, a couple of years ago when I lost to Dirk, 10-9, he had an average 112 against me. You know, just, you know, just stuff like that. I just feel like it doesn't really happen to other people. It just always happens to me, but um, we just keep plodding on. You say sometimes you do get sort of dips in the year where maybe you put the darts down for a mm. period of time, but at what point do you start picking those darts when really putting in the effort? Obviously now there's so many major events leading up of course. The world yeah, I think because there's so many events that just sort of roll into one now that you, you know, you're playing so much that you don't really need to pick them up at, at home. Um, you know, I've hardly had any time at home in the last really couple of months, um, which, you know, I've openly said that I don't really enjoy that much um, and if I lost tonight you know, I'd, I'd have flown home tomorrow and the new couple of duties out tomorrow so I'd have been playing that. <laughs> Cheers Ryan, thank you. Cheers mate.